Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and in today's video, I wanna show you how to use the custom permissions module. So, what does this module actually do? Well, it allows you to create custom permissions for specific pages or routes or routes, whichever way you want to explain it. But essentially, you can use the module to create a custom permission which has access to a specific page. And then you can assign that permission to any role. Now, why is this useful? Well, let's now jump into the computer and I will explain. So if I go to configuration and let's say we want to give a role access to this basic site settings page where they can change a site name, slogan, email address, front page, and so on. Right now, if you want to give a role access to this particular page, you need to give them the administer site configuration permission, which is a pretty powerful permission. They will be given access to a lot of configuration pages, not just basic site settings. So we can use custom permissions to create a specific permission just for this page and then assign that permission to any role and they will only be able to access this specific page. So to learn more about the module, just head over to drupal.org slash project slash config underscore perms. Now the module machine name doesn't really match the module name, but just Google custom permissions and you'll find it. And straight away, if we scroll down, you will notice that there is a version one and a version two. If you are using Drupal 9, then you will have to use version two. But if you are using Drupal 8, you can use version, ver version one, but I highly recommend that you just stick with the stable version two. Now, the other big difference between the two versions is that if we scroll up, it actually mentions, mentions it here that version two uses routes. And that's why in the introduction of this video, I mentioned routes, whereas version one uses paths. So if we click on this example here, this is a screenshot, I believe of probably Drupal seven, but it shows you the actual paths. Whereas uh, with version two, you have to specify the route, which can be pretty tricky to find, but I will cover that for you. Don't you worry. So let's start things off by downloading the module. And what I'll do is I will open up my terminal and because I'm using Lando, I will type in Lando composer require Drupal slash config perms. Okay. Make sure you add in this name. Now, again, because I'm using Lando, but if you are hosting Drupal some other way, just, just type in composer require Drupal slash config perms and give that a minute or two to download. Okay, that was actually surprisingly quick and I didn't actually speed up the download, but that's because I've, I've downloaded, the, downloaded the module before and I'm sure it's cached. Okay, so let's jump over to our site and let's go to extend and of course install it. And I will search for custom permissions. Here we go, it's right here. And I will click on install and then go to people and you should see a new tab called custom permissions. If you can't see the tab, just run a drush CR or go to configuration and then performance and then just click on clear all caches. Sometimes the tabs are heavily cached and they don't appear straight away. Click on custom permissions and straight away you can see that we have four permissions out of the box. One for administer content settings, uh, account settings, administer date and time, so on and so forth. But let's go ahead and create a custom permission so that we can assign a role this basic site settings. So let's go ahead. But before we do that, let me actually demonstrate the problem with administer site configuration. So what I've done here is I have gone and created a role called editor. And this role is pretty basic. Uh, the only thing it really has access to is uh, administer content and also uh, uh, use admin pages, use admin theme and so on and so forth. So what I'll do is I will move these tabs around so I can kind of demonstrate things. And, and on the left, I am logged in as admin and on the right, 
I am logged in as an editor with the editor role. So if we go up the top here and click on configuration, you will see that we can't get access to anything. We can see the configuration page, but we can't see any of the pages. Now, if I scroll all the way down to, where is it? Configure, I always lose it. Here we go, administer site configuration. Scroll down, click on save permissions, and then I go, go to the browser on the right, refresh. You can see straight away, I've got access to a lot of things, which you may not wanna give a user who is just an editor, because you really wanna control what they have access to. Yes, they have access to basic site, site settings, but they also have access to maintenance mode. Hey, they can switch the site. Well, they can pretty much turn it off as well. And they can change regional settings, change performance, uh, do things like turn on, you know, error, error messages. Okay, so that is the problem with using administer site configuration. Now let's fix this up and let's go, let me first full screen this uh, browser right here. Let's go back to custom permissions and let's now create a custom permission for the basic site settings page. So click on add permission and first you have to give the permission a name. So I will enter in, because I've already done this, I'll copy this across, but you can actually give it any type of name, okay? And I will call this administer basic site settings. You can call it access site settings, it doesn't matter. And then you need to give it the actual route name of the page. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because straight away you'll be thinking, well, Ivan, how do I figure out the routes? Good question. To figure out the routes, okay? This is where it gets a bit tricky. What you essentially need to do is go into code and I'll show you one way. The simplest way is to just look at the code because Drupal is open source, okay? So just jump in and look at the code. And I do know, and luckily I've got this opened up right here, is that if, if you search for any YAML file with routing.yaml, this will show you all of the routes. So what you essentially have to do, let me actually try this out. Let's open up a new tab and let's go here and let's just copy this path. And if I jump over to here in VS Code, now I'm using, I normally use PHP Storm, but I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be um, modern here by using VS Code. Okay, so straight away you can see that yes, there are some uh, returns some results returned, but the most important one that we want is the one in the routing.yaml. Okay, so system.routing.yaml. And if we click on that, we can see this, okay? This is the route. So copy this across, and then if we add this over to here, and then now let's just click on save. Okay, and here we can see our administer basic site settings, and it should give us access to this particular route. Simple, so far. So let's now fix this up. So if we go, let's pop this back to the left, and let's clean up these permissions. So if I go all the way down to, here we go, administer site settings, perfect. Click on save permissions, done. I come back here on the right, and then here you can see we no longer have access to the config pages. Perfect. Now, if we scroll down to custom permissions right here, we should see our permission over here, administer basic site settings page. Sorry, ad administer basic site settings. All we need to do is assign it to a role, just like any other permission, because it is basically a permission. And then scroll all the way down, click on save, and then if we come to the right and refresh, we should see just the basic site settings page, which is exactly what we want. And we can come along here and say, you know, um, site name, oh, let's change it to WordPress. You know, let's be, let's be a little funny. And we come along here and we've changed the page, the site name, and that's it, okay? Let's just change it back. Now, the final thing I wanna show you 
is another way to find these routes because previously we looked we looked at the code, okay? And yes, that works fine if you know your way around Drupal code, but there is a group of Drupal users that aren't developers that still use Drupal. So now I wanna show you another way to find out the routes. And the other way to find them out is by using the Deville module. Okay, so this Devel module has a page that lists out all of the active routes on your page, and you can access this page from Drupal's backend, so you don't have to look at the code. So let me just quickly grab this, and I will go to my terminal and quickly download it. Let me just clear that. Uh, let's go back up and just click on, um, just click enter. So this will just go ahead and download Devel. It's actually, well, Composer is much quicker these days with Composer version 2. I have to admit. Okay, so we've downloaded Devel. Let's go back into here. Uh, let's go to extend, search for Devel, and then install it. All right, once Devel is installed, make sure you are logged in as admin, and then click on this Devel icon right here, and then click on Routes Info. And then straight away, you can see all of the available routes. So if I search for, let me actually search for this, uh, admin config, oh, pretty cool. What was the other one? Admin, con no, what was the actual path to admin config? Well, let's just, oh, here we go. Let's just chuck this in and see, and see what actually returns. I haven't played around too much with this page. I just know it's there. Oh, there we go. So you can search for the paths. Now, can you search for this, the actual route name? You can, there you go, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And then if you click on Devel, it just gives you, oh, okay, it just gives you the route object for that particular route. Okay, perfect. Now, I do also believe that you can use Drupal console to list out all the routes on your site. So if you wanna use a command line tool, just download Drupal console, and there should be, I think, debug routes, I believe. Yeah, here we go this one. So you can use debug route. I had a quick look in Drush because I mostly use Drush and I couldn't find anything, but if there's a command that can actually list out all the routes, just leave a comment below because I really want to know it. Um, and the final one, which I do also, well, I've had trouble with in the past is figuring out views routes uh, because there is, let me just search for Drupal, Drupal route to views page. Okay, so here we go. So if you want to actually create a route to a views page, all you need to do is create the route using, I believe this, it is view, then the view machine name, and then it is the page machine name. So if you want to create a custom permission that that actually, that actually links to a views page, well then the route will need to be a route to an actual views page. So that is it for this video. I hope you've learned something new and I really do hope that you find custom permissions module very, very useful. So if you enjoyed what you've seen, don't forget to subscribe because I have to say that because this video is on YouTube and also Head over to webwash.net if you want to learn more about Drupal. Anyway, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.